Hi everybody, Heather Donnelly here, introducing you to one of the new Rowdies for 2016, midfielder Michael Nanshoff. What has your first month been like so far here in the Tampa Bay area? It's been pretty relaxed now that I've found a place. It, uh, it took a little while to kind of get my bearings a little bit, but I was put up in the hotel for a little bit, rented a car, drove around, looked at like 20 different complexes, and I'm taking in the nice weather. What has your favorite thing been so far that you've done? I've done a lot of walking around because uh, the hotel we stayed at was just downtown St. Pete here, so I figured I might as well go out and experience a little bit of what the St. Pete life is all about. And I took a few walks down the beachfront right here, and the scenery is beautiful. I love it. You're one of four former Portland Timbers on the Rowdies roster. What's it like having so many guys from your former team all here? Have you, have you kind of bonded over that a little bit? Yeah, it's cool. It always makes for a little bit easy, easier adjustment. Um, I feel like everywhere I kind of go, you know, obviously being in Portland and now here, there always seems to be somewhat of an Akron family or a Portland Timbers family, and it's special. The guys are great. You can see that they come from a good culture. A little less than three years ago when you were playing for the Timbers, you guys played the Rowdies in the U.S. Open Cup. You scored a great goal. And the player who happened to be defending you then okay. happens to be your head coach now, Stuart Campbell. Have yeah. you guys talked about that at all? I think uh, <laughs> we're waiting to touch on that. <laughs> we haven't spoken about it just yet. I think he's waiting to rub it in at some point. Or I know I'm not going to say anything because I know we have conditioning starting next week. Um, but I remember it very vividly, and that was, from what I remember, it was one heck of a game, actually. Valencia, awkward touch, great shot from the left corner of the 18 by Michael Nanchoff. A lot of Rowdy fans traveled up to Portland for that midweek match. What impression did that give you at the time of the Rowdies fan base and just the passion that they have? Oh, it was great. It was phenomenal. I mean, you know, Portland is, you know, one of the best fan bases in the country. and. There's not too many fans that get to travel across the country or want to, uh, for that matter, to support their team. And to be able to see that, you can tell it's, it's a great culture. There's a great tradition here, and I'm, I'm ecstatic to be a part of it. What interested you about the Rowdies? What made you want to come play here? The tradition. My, uh, my father used to play against the Rowdies when he used to play on the Fort Lauderdale Strikers way back in the NESL days. Um, I believe that him and Perry actually suited up against one another. And, you know, from what he told me, you know, way back then, they used to pack the stadium. There used to be some huge rivalry games, so the tradition is really strong. How has strength and conditioning and just all of the training you've done so far been going? It's good. It's good. We have a nice little program. It's nice to kind of come in and, you know, get your legs underneath you a little bit rather than kind of getting after it right away and just running sprints every single day. So it's a nice system, nice program, working with the strength and conditioning coach. So we're excited to get going next week, though, that's for sure. You're described as an attacking midfielder. Where do you like to be on the field, and what type of player are you? You know, honestly, for me, I'm not too picky. Um, I've kind of grown up playing centrally. Um, and as far as the pros go, I've been pushed out wide right, pushed out wide left, and, you know, versatility comes into play, and that's uh, important. But as long as I'm playing, I'm happy. What's your goal for the 2016 season? To win. Time to win some championships. I know the seasons are uh, they're kind of split up differently here, so it'll take some getting used to there, but to be able to win a, a spring season, a fall season, then overall would be massive to win the soccer bowl. The Rowdies just announced a big invitational coming up in February. A lot of MLS teams are going to be here. You guys are going to get to play a couple of them. As a guy who's coming from MLS experience, what does it mean to you to be able to play high-level competition like that here in the preseason? Oh, it's huge. There's nothing better than just playing games. And for all of us, it's, it's super exciting because the last thing we want to do is continue just beating up on one another in trainings every single day. So it's, uh, it's something for us to look forward to, and especially when you get to play against you know, top-notch players, especially ones in Major League Soccer. It's, it's pretty awesome. All right. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for taking the time to do this interview. Yeah, thanks a lot. I appreciate it.